part of doing a high quality research study is about having a well written research question. But how do you write a good one? That's what we're talking about in this video. Hi everybody, I'm Leah Hall from teachingacademia.com and I'm all about giving you the tools you need to navigate academia to make your best impact. If you're new here, welcome. Today we're going to be talking about how to write a high quality research question. And to do that, I'm going to shift this over so we can take a look at some slides I've prepared. So let's go. All right, so let's think about this. Where do research questions come from? Okay, um, so research questions, um, obviously they need to be something that it's a topic, it's an issue, it's a problem that you care a lot about because you're going to spend a lot of time with this. You want to make sure that you're personally interested in it because there'll be you know, times when you're doing this study that it's not fun, there's a lot of drudgery work. So you need to make sure that you're really ultimately passionate about what you're studying because that's what carries you through. The next thing to think about in terms of where the research questions come from, how do you get to a good one, is you need to address a knowledge gap in the literature and it needs to be, whatever it is that you're addressing needs to make an important contribution. So doing something coming up with a question, coming up with a study only because it's an issue that you're interested in, that's not good enough in and of itself. It needs to address a knowledge gap and it needs to address an important knowledge gap. And you as the researcher need to be able to explain um, the gap that it addresses and why it is important. No one's going to care why you are passionate about it so much, um, but you need to be passionate about it. Like I said, just to get you carry to carry you through. There are obviously two different types of research questions. There's qualitative and there's quantitative. Um, and qualitative focuses on how, why, what, okay? And I have a video that talks about qualitative research design. Um, that's gonna be a card that comes up at the end of this video. So you make sure you can uh, click on it and I'll talk to you a little bit about these different designs and what they look like in, um, you know, what some of these examples look like with questions and what kinds of things question, the qualitative questions get at. Quantitative research is gonna look at um, things like how often, how frequently is something improving, okay? And obviously you can ask a study that blends both types of questions where you're asking, does something improve and how does it improve or why does it improve or what are the factors that are keeping it from improving, okay? So you can do a blend there of that. And then finally, I've got here some examples for you of qualitative and quantitative research questions. Now, this comes out of my own background. These are questions um, that I have made up, but they are based on my own background. So for example, a qualitative research question might say, how do students respond to high stakes assessments? Okay, I give students a high stakes test, um, you know, not it's not about if they improve, right, or get better or what they score, but how are they reacting to that situation, knowing it's coming, during, after, what are their thoughts, feelings, and behaviors? A quantitative research question by comparison is gonna ask, do students show growth in high stakes assessments? Okay, do students show growth on a particular kind of exam, okay? Um, you know, another example here, why do students with academic difficulties appear to disengage in class? And you can see I put a peer because if I took that out and I had why do students with academic difficulties disengage in class, I've made this assumption that they are disengaged. And I don't know that, okay? Um, but it appears on the surface that they are disengaged. So let's go in and, and look at why. Why does it look that way? What's going on, okay? A more quantitative research question, will students' math scores increase if engagement increases, right? If I can show that I've increased students' engagement in their mathematics class, will like assignments improve, will their knowledge improve, will their math assessments improve, okay? Um, and finally, a third exam example for each of these, what do students think about how textbooks are used in schools, right? That's a qualitative research question. I'm exploring students' thoughts about textbooks that they're being asked to read, how they get used, maybe what they would rather see instead, um, what they think they learn from it. I'm not quantifying what they actually learn from it. I might just be asking them to talk about what they think they learn from it. A quantitative uh, research question by comparison, does student participation in an after-school book club increase the number of texts they choose to read on their own? I'm gonna put students 
into um, you know, an intervention of some sort, have them participate in an after school book club. And then I'm gonna see if that increases right there out of school reading in some way, right? And I can measure that and I can quantify it. So again, right, this all needs to be grounded in something that's gonna make a significant contribution, a gap in the literature, and also something that you are super passionate about. You can combine qualitative and quantitative research questions and create a mixed method study. All right, now, if you are interested in getting help with qualitative research, I have an introduction to qualitative research course. It's linked to in the show notes. Feel free to check it out if you have questions about it. Um, please feel free to put those in the uh, comments section. I'm happy to talk to you more about the course to help you get the career that you wanna have and be the researcher that you want to be.